so I've got a few different sounds loaded into groups A to C in this project, with group A being a house kit. So I'm going to turn on the metronome and start recording some of these drums into a new one bar pattern. And I'll record this stab sound in two. But I want it to be a two bar long phrase. So I'm going to double up this pattern to record that in. And lastly, this shaker sound. But instead of playing in repeating notes myself, I'll use the note repeat button. Now onto group B, which is a plucked lead sound, which I can play with the pads in keyboard mode, where they become MIDI notes for playing in melodic phrases. I'll just mute group A for a minute. And as I said before, the hardware has different scales to make sure you play in key. As well as the pads having a chords option so you can play different harmonic sequences. And with the arpeggiator turned on, these chords play in rhythmic fashion. However, going back to keyboard mode, I'll just record in a two bar pattern of my own for this. and I might apply some velocity variation using the humanize feature, as I recorded that in with fixed velocity, so the volume was constant. And finally, some bass in group C. I've got a few patterns in and a nice groove going, there's enough to start performing with, which I could do by tweaking some master bus effects I've mapped to the macros here, which is really quick and easy to do with the Mark III. First though, I'll hit the lock button, which stores the current settings, then I can mute the kicks from my drums group, and play with the effects, hitting lock at the end to return to the stored settings. Making breakdowns on the fly like this is easy, but if you'd rather get something a bit more permanent, then you can go into scene mode, duplicate the scene, press the unique button so all the patterns are unique to the scene, meaning I can then edit them by erasing some of the drum events for example. And I might remove the bass pattern from this scene, and then reduce the length of group B's pattern. and add some extra notes. And the Mark III screens allow really quick and easy editing of any notes directly from the hardware. And then I can switch back to my original scene just by hitting pad one. And there are loads of other controls for applying individual expression like the perform effects. You should be starting to get an idea of how powerful a controller this is now, and we're only just scratching the surface of it. With the pads alone being able to control a huge amount of the software, assisted by the mode buttons to the left and above, and with shift commands on each one, offering a whole host of editing functions too, 
and of course the massive displays above providing further assistance and a clear view of what's going on, you won't find yourself reaching for the mouse very often. 